this is a quick little um, how to video on how to skip or at least how I um, go at skipping this is sort of for the beginners this right here is um, a little a little crawl um, as you can see it's got flat flat profile got quite a light jig head 5 gram and you'll be casting out and that'll be skipping across the water like a you know like you'd skip a rock or something along them lines and just using it on the um, bait casting setup with fluorocarbon straight through don't know if it makes any difference I'd find it easier um, Right, so I'll have a few cars and talk you through what I'm doing. Right. So, I'm trying to, um, when I cast, have the rod go horizontally to the water um, in the cast stroke. The lure as close as I can place it to the water without without hitting it in the first in the sweep of the cast. What you want to do is cast the, the lure as horizontal to the water as you can get it, um, but maybe maybe up a couple of couple of inches. And when the, the natural gravity sort of pulls the lure down towards the water, if it's going fast enough, it should skip across across the surface. So. Give it a cast and I'll just show you what I mean. So we'll have a cast and um, try to skip this across the water. So what I'm doing is casting the lure horizontal to the water with quite a power and I'm applying pressure with my thumb on the spool to um, stop the reel overrunning. And the more pressure you apply, the um, more chance of lure, lure staying on top of the surface rather than sort of catching the water and diving under, which would then result in a bigger bird test. Just like that, lure caught the water, got a bit of a bird test. What I do is I let them just, just cast it out. So he's stripping the line by hand. There's the lure again. So um, it's not necessary to have a crayfish lure. You can do this with shads, um, boot tails, anything really where you're using a light, a nice light jig head, and you've got sort of quite a meaty, weighty lure, um, and you can cast it quite, sort of, quite fast. I originally learnt this skipping while using um, spinning, spin cast setups spinning normal spinning gear and the same same rules apply but you obviously don't have to worry about um, the real overrunning so for the beginner trying to get into it it's a lot it's much easier than I'm um, trying to start up with a bait caster so yeah some um, short little video on how I skip at least hope this helped you and um, look forward to making some more videos like this for you see you later guys Smell your pipe, make funny noises.